We're Kelly and James with two tickets around the world. Last week, we took you to the Terracotta Warriors for our first stop on the Silk Road. Today, we will take you to the Bell and Drum Tower in the Xi'an Great Mosque. Today is our second day in Xi'an. We started off today with a lazy morning, getting up around 9.30, 10ish. And uh, we now stopped at a place to get some pulled noodles for lunch. Vegetable pulled noodles. Chow mein. Never had a vegetable noodle before. Very good. Complete. So we're outside of the drum tower right now. After lunch, we decided to walk here and we're going to visit the drum tower and the bell tower. Uh, they're both right next to each other and it's really cool because it's right next to the Muslim quarters. So after you see this, you can go walk around the Muslim quarters and get something to eat. Buy. No, we can't do this because it's a Chinese ID. We tried buying our ticket at the automated machine, but we need to have a Chinese ID card to buy the ticket. So we went ahead and went to the ticket office, and basically all they do is just put their ID card to the machine, and then we can buy a ticket. The drum tower overlooks the Muslim Quarter, one of the first streets of it, and you can see one of the places that has one of the longest lines. It serves the uh, minced pork sandwiches. Inside the drum tower, there's a collection of furniture from the Ming and Qing dynasty that you can observe on the second floor. Fun fact, Suzhou and Beijing are the ones that are most well known. So what's cool about the drum tower is they used to hit the drums three times per night to warn the citizens that they are safe and then they would do it one time in the morning that would open up the city walls and allow them to go in and out of the city. So on the drum tower there is a drum show that happens a couple times a day so we're going to hang out and wait for the next showing. bell tower. In order to get to the bell tower you have to use the underpass because it is in the middle of the intersection. So let's go to the bell tower.
Standing in the bell tower, you can see the junk tower right there. The mosque is actually behind the buildings. So if you come, you should do bell, drum, and then mosque, so you're not like walking back and forth. But it is what it is for us. We get the exercise. We have two <laughs> <laughs> the information. Uh, we have concluded that the. You can check which one is the recycle. We now know. So we just finished walking through the drum and bell towers, and after reading all the information, we learned that these towers were mostly used to tell time uh, by either ringing the bell or. In the morning, and then the drums are at night. Yeah, and then they use the drums at night. You hear that sound? I wish it was ice cream. It's not. It's just the street cleaner. It's the street cleaner. There's peaches too. We got peaches. Uh, peach? <laughs> There's a lot of these fruit stands around that you can go and you can pick your fruit that's already peeled and then they weigh it and chop it up and you can have yourself a fruit salad. By the mosque, there's a little coffee shop. Some rose tea. James got coffee. I've never had coffee like this before. Is it good? Yeah. In order to get to the Great Mosque, you have to kind of walk through a alley of these little touristy shops and then you'll find it kind of right on the corner. Goodbye. Yeah, later, babe.